Welcome to Chris Glenn for Co.uk Get Going Guides. Uh, this uh, tutorial is we're going to look at setting up email accounts uh, using your cPanel. If you don't know uh, how to access cPanel, go to the previous tutorial uh, called cPanel and we'll give you some information on that. But basically, you just need to log into your host uh, with your password details and this is what will appear for it. So, to make some email accounts, uh, it's all done in this email uh, window here so we want an email account so the first thing we obviously want to check is some email accounts what have we got and if we this window will appear and it tells you here what emails have already been set up well I've already got one set up for myself uh, Chris at chrislinfordco.uk which you can email me on uh, but I want to make another one so what I do is I go to admin this puts what do you want as a name before it could be your name it could be uh, anything you like the name of your dog or your budgie uh, and then you put in a password uh, for it uh, here so I'm going to put in a small password and you can see here that I'm only gaining 38 out of 100 uh, for security on this password it's not high security it could be worse but uh, it could be a lot better but I'm not going to run a lot of secure information um, so I'm not that uh, worried about it at the moment. Uh, then I can allocate how much memory space on the server do I want to allocate to this email account. 250 megabytes is the standard, but I can change the number there as well, or I can just give it an unlimited amount until my server fills up. When I'm happy with that, I just click on Create Account. It then tells me the account has been created, and if I go down to my list, there it is, it's been added here. If I want to get rid of it, I just push delete or if I want to change the password for any of the email accounts uh, on here or change the memory allocation uh, I can just go to change quota uh, here and that's your email account uh, set up so if we go back to the home we've got an email account now but I've got an email account but I don't actually want to go into this server to look at the emails I want the emails to go to another email account it might be your hotmail or gmail account uh, so which is one I look at more often so I do that so these are called forwarders so if I click on a forwarder it tells me here that if I've got uh, an email account who do I forward it to so I'm just going to delete uh, that one uh, so I'll go back. So what I want to do now is I want to add a forwarder. So what I do is address to forward. So I address admin, and then I put it uh, to another account. Uh, so I just put at the let's put it at a hotmail account and I just add a folder there we go back so what is happening now is whenever somebody emails me to this admin at chrislinfordco.uk it will be sent to chrislinfordhotmail.com that doesn't actually exist so I just want to delete that now so I don't end up with some emails going to the wrong place and it's all fairly straightforward from there. So as you can see, my chrislinfordco.uk it goes to my university address, uh, which is an address I look at during the day, uh, and uh, more likely to get a reply from me at, at that place. So what we want to do now is to log on to your um, email. So how would you do it? So we go to go to your web host so what we do here is we do that and then under the username you just write the email address and then put in uh, your password and we want to go to webmail so this is now, I'm not logged in as the main user, as Chris at chrislinfordco.uk, I'm now logged in so every user can come in with their own identity and not look at each other's emails. Uh, so I'm logged in there. Then I can choose what kind of system I want to um, 
look at my emails on. So I'm going to look at Squirrel Mail because we might look at Squirrel Mail later on. And this is your email box. So it's very simple. Uh, so you have an inbox, you have a draft, you've got ones you sent, you've got trashed ones, and you can just look at it. Obviously, not sent any emails from here uh, yet, but uh, you can just click on here. So, if you were running a professional company, you wouldn't want them to enter through your hosting gateway, and so what you would do, you would have a button on your website to handle the emails uh, from there, uh, which will just take them straight into an email account, Squirrel Mail for example, which can run on your server uh, just for your website. So it looks more uh, like your company's uh, email, but if it's for your own personal use then this is probably good enough so you don't need to set anything up. So that's really it for emails. It's very straightforward. You just build an account, you decide if you want to forward it. Other things we got here is you can put auto responses, uh, you can put uh, account level filtering so if you've got uh, things you don't want people to look at so filters if we have a look at the filters so if you've got somebody who's spamming you or something uh, you can so if it's from somebody then you can decide what you want to do with it uh, from there and you can do that from a, a site, site point of view or from a individual person uh, point of view as well so it's all pretty much straightforward so that's setting up your email accounts. Good luck with that. If you need any more help, contact me at chris at chrislinfordco.uk or via email uh, via uh, YouTube or from iTunes and I will answer any questions as and when I can. Uh, so if you need any more information, come and visit me at chrislinfordco.uk.